Hello lovelies, in this video we're going to be introducing a new skill for A-level chemistry, we're going to be looking at gas volumes. Now this is just an introductory video on how to do the skill. In the next video in this playlist we're going to be looking at mole calculations and then we're going to be looking at exam style questions with mole calculations in and this is one of the skills that you will need for that. These questions are all about gas volumes. And what that comes down to is if we know a certain mass or number of moles of a gas, what volume does that correspond to? And to be able to solve these questions, there's a couple of equations that will really help us. So let's first just recap those equations so that you know what you need to know. So the first equation that I'm going to show you here links the number of moles of a substance and the volume in decimeter cubed. So we would use this equation if we wanted to find the volume in decimeter cubed, or we knew that already. But sometimes we're going to have centimeters cubed instead. So when that does happen, instead we can use this very similar, but just slightly different equation that states volume is equal to moles times 24,000. This is centimeters cubed. So as well as those two equations, there's always the old classic that moles is mass over MR. All together, these three equations should be all we need to know really to be able to make the calculations needed for this set of questions. So let's start with question one. So question one asks us to find the number of moles in 48,000 centimetres cubed of methane. So let's make a note that the volume is 48,000 centimetres cubed. Now, the equation we need to use then for this is the one that states that V is N, the moles, times 24,000 centimetres cubed. So what we can do here is we can rearrange this equation now to find the number of moles. So rearranging this gives us N is V over 24,000. Now we know that we can substitute in our volume, 48,000, divide it by that 24,000, and we get the number of moles which in this case is two, which means that in this question, the number of moles of methane that we have is two moles of methane. So let's have a look here at the next question. So here we're asked to find the number of moles in 72 decimeter cubed of hydrogen. So we'll make a note that the volume is 72 decimeter cubed. And now let's write down the corresponding equation. The one that we need is that volume is moles times 24 decimeter cubed. We need that one because the units are the same. Now let's have a go at rearranging this equation to find the moles. And in this case, moles will be volume over 24. So now we can substitute in our volume of 72. So we get 72 over 24, which equals three moles. So the answer to this question the number of moles in 72 decimeter cubed of hydrogen is three moles. So for this next question, we're gonna have an extra step in it because we're asked to find the volume occupied by a certain mass of oxygen, five grams of oxygen, and we need to find the volume occupied. We're told we need to give the answer in centimeters cubed. So because we're talking about centimeters cubed and we're trying to find a gas volume, the equation that we're going to want to use is that volume is equal to moles times 24,000. So the issue here compared to the past couple of questions is that we don't know the moles to find the volume. We know the mass of oxygen, which means we're going to have to calculate the number of moles of oxygen using mass over the MR. So we know that the mass is five grams, but we're going to have to work out what the MR is of oxygen. So to do this, first off, we need to remember that oxygen is a diatomic molecule, so it has a formula of O2. So when we want to get the MR of that, you go to your periodic table, you find the mass number of oxygen, which is 16, and because there's two of them in O2, the MR of oxygen is two times 16, which is 32. So now we know the MR of oxygen, we can substitute that into our equation. 
and the moles of oxygen is going to be 5 over 32, which I make to be 0 0.15625. So now we know those moles, we can go straight to our volume, our gas volume equation, and just substitute that number in. So in this case, the volume is going to be equal to 0 0.15625, those moles, times by 24,000, because we want the volume in centimetres cubed. And I make that 3,750 centimetres cubed. So the next question is very similar. We're asked to find the volume occupied by 86 grams of carbon dioxide. This time we need to give our answer in decimeter cubed. So because we want our answer in decimeter cubed, we're going to use the equation that volume is equal to moles times 24 decimeter cubed. Because remember, we always need to have matching units here. So similar to the last question here, we have the fact that we don't know the moles of carbon dioxide. So we need to use the fact that moles is mass over MR. We're told that the mass is 86 grams, so we can substitute that in, but we don't yet know what the MR is of carbon dioxide. So to work that out, we need to remember what the formula is for carbon dioxide, which is CO2, and then you get the mass numbers from the periodic table of carbon and oxygen. There's just one carbon, so we'll do 12, and then plus two times 16, because we have two oxygens. And that ends up giving us 44 for the MR of carbon dioxide. So here we've got that the moles is 86 over 44. So if I put that into a calculator, I make that to be 1.955. If I round that up to three decimal places, and then now that we know those moles, simply we need to substitute that into our earlier equation and we will get that the volume equals those moles times by 24. And I make that to be 46.92 decimeters cubed. Done. So the last question of this, this little set of questions that we have here, we need to find the volume again, but this time of 45 grams of ammonia. And we want to give our answer in centimetres cubed. So here, because it's centimetres cubed, we're going to write down the equation that states that volume is moles times 24,000 centimetres cubed. So here we have ammonia. So really important we remember what the formula is for ammonia. So that is NH3. And to find the moles of ammonia, we need to work out the mass over the MR. Now we know that the mass is 45 grams because they tell it to us in the question, but the MR we will need to work out. The MR of ammonia is going to be the mass of nitrogen, which is just 14 and plus three times the mass of hydrogen, which is going to give us three times one. So all added together there, we get 17 for the MR of ammonia. So the moles of ammonia will be 45 over 17. So I make that to be 2.65, if we just round that to two decimal places, and then if we substitute that in to the previous equation, that states that volume is moles times 24,000, we're going to get 2.65 times 24,000, and I make the volume equal to 63,600 centimetres cubed. And that there is our solution. Perfect, so I hope that that makes sense. I hope that you can see how we use this gas volume equation in these types of questions. Ouch! This is why in some videos I've explained scratches.